Greetings, my friends. Every single U.S. conflict in the Middle East from the first Gulf War in 91, which I was there for, to every single thing that's happened since then, many, many, many different conflicts, many different battles, many different engagements. The U.S. has always, 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 without fail, used the Saudi Arabian air bases as their launching point, as their kickoff point for all previous wars, battles, and conflicts. And guess what has just happened? The Pentagon just reopened the base. It's ready to go. And we can see in the news that the U.S. is very, very close to a war with Iran. It's the way things look right now. But here's the thing. Iran is part of the Confederacy with Turkey, North Africa countries, with Gog, Putin of Magog, Russia, who come down to the Gog-Magog war and try to wipe Israel off the map, but themselves get wiped off the map. 90% of all their armies are slaughtered. And this begs, it makes you think, and it, and it, and it, and it begs the question, what's really going to happen with America and with Iran in the Middle East? We know President Trump has been really taking care of Israel. We know that there have been lots of um, of words of um, war and near war going back and forth <coughs> between Iran, U.S., Great Britain, Saudi Arabia, <coughs> other countries. But I've also told you that other countries have threatened to launch nuclear EMPs on America. And could this opening of this base, reopening of this base by the Pentagon, and everything else going on, could this be what facilitates a nuclear EMP, uh, multiple nuclear EMPs dropped above, launched above America that would put America back into the days of the telegraph, maybe even the Stone Age, and prevent America from coming to Israel's aid in the Gog Magog War, Psalm 83 War, Isaiah 17 prophecy. America would be on the sidelines, just crippled, unable to help. And I'm convinced America's a great whore of Babylon. I've showed you all the scripture in the Bible. It doesn't match Rome, Italy. It doesn't match Baghdad, Iraq. It matches the United States of America and no one else. And America, if, if America is a great whore, the great whore is destroyed instantly by fire. And if the U.S. was disabled by EMPs, every country that has nukes that hates our guts, China, Russia, North Korea, Pakistan, India, goes on and on and on. By, uh, anywhere in the Middle East, anywhere in the world has nukes. Could launch on America. America could not defend herself. She would literally be burned to the ground, the way the Bible says a great war will be. The bottom line we're getting at is this. Every sign, every single one of the imminent rapture of the church is here right now. Very few are listening. Very few Christians are ready. Most Christians are backslidden. They refuse to repent of their sins after they're saved the way that hundreds of scripture commands you to. It's not works. We're not doing anything to help our salvation. It's a separate mandate from God called repentance. Those who don't believe in repentance, those who, after salvation, those who don't believe in tribulation raptures, I've said many times, they'll be believers when they're left behind, don't you think? Don't be here for seven periods of hell, the tribulation, the great tribulation, where God just tears this world to pieces. Get right right now while you have time. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden, pray the prayer to the six steps I have in the box for the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day. Help me share this video, get the word out, and so many people can be saved. You'll get credit for them being saved as well in heaven. As you shared with the truth that I put out. May God bless you all. I love you all so much. Share this video. Redemption draweth nigh. Bye.